All right, let's take a look at uh, the difference between the mean and the median. Uh, as a quick definition, the mean is the measure of center based on the observed values in a data set, and the median is the measure of center based on the order of the values in the data set. So as a, as a bit of a contrast here, we have that the, the data set I have has 11 entries um, and various numbers here. So we have three ones, three twos, one three, one four, one five, and two sixes. Okay, that's what we see up here. What we have over here is that the median is going to be as the center of the, the order. It's going to be the value of the middle number. So if I were to arrange these from small to large, my, my values, then the median is going to be the middle value. So having 11 entries, halfway through 11 will be 6. Okay, so think about it more like 5 values on either side of 6. So giving us the center point. Uh, in other words, a value 2. When we look at the mean, taking the average value, we're saying, okay, well, the value 1 has a certain weight and the value 6 has a slightly heavier weight. Um, and so when we, if we think about them on, in terms of a, a balance, you know, a little scale here, then as we stack up blocks on the value 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, on and so forth, then the mean is going to be the focal point or the fulcrum uh, that balances uh, the weight. So if I were to change these values here, and let's say I'm going to change this uh, 4 here, I'm going to make this 4 here, I'm going to make it a 5. Notice that the mean will increase slightly, but the median doesn't change. So what we'll have is, is if I take this, um, this 4 here, and I'm going to stack it now on the 5s, the, the balance is going to be slightly tipped here, and so I need to adjust the fulc fulcrum so that it catches a little bit better, something at 3.09. Now, if I were instead to make this 5 a 6, and maybe I'll make this 5 also a 6, notice that the mean con continues to rise, but the median stays the same. So these two 5s are now stacked on top of the 6. Okay, So I'd have to adjust by making this a little bit bigger. All right, to keep the balance there. Now, instead of turning these on to sixes, what if there were threes? Oops, not 33. <laughs> so notice the, the mean has dropped significantly. So all of these sixes are now threes. So I'm going to take these and stack them on the threes. And clearly, I mean, the, the, the fulc fulcrum is going to have to switch down here to capture that. So something in there. Okay, so 2.18 to balance it out. But notice the whole time the median never changed position. So um, let's talk a little bit about what makes the median or how we would find that middle observation. Uh, let's see, ink window. Oops, uh, let's see. Talk about the drawing pad. No, there we go. I don't want the grid lines, but I think I'm kind of stuck. So when we have the median, <clears throat> we have the idea of, of taking the middle observation. Okay, so in our case, we have n being 11 observations. Observations. And what that tells us, the way we'd find the middle observation, I mean, if, if you look at this, we have 11 nicely laid out, and you could see that 6 is the middle, but the other way we can say this is that the the middle observation will be the n plus 1 divided by 2 <laughs> observation. So in our case, we have 11 plus 1 all over 2. So 12 over 2, hey, that's 6. Okay. So we could talk about the sixth observation. The sixth observation will be the mean. Okay, so notice over here, we, we, we aren't um, you know, interested in actually what the values are as long as they're lined up completely uh, you know, from smallest to largest. So how would I change which value would be the, the mean, excuse me, the median? Well, I'd have to either add on more values or take away some of them. So let's say that these two go away. Delete. Okay. 
what we have is make sure this is right. Um, what we have is that the the mean, excuse me, the median is two. It's not this two anymore. It's actually this two back here. So it drops back one. So we say, okay, between the values one through nine, if you look at four values and four values, then the median is going to be that middle value. Okay. Now, if we were to drop this back one more, let's say that we were, uh, instead of looking at 11 observations, we're only looking at 10 observations. Okay. Um, you don't necessarily notice it here, but we take the convention that if you take 10 objects, the middle is going to actually land in between two observations. Okay. So what we would do then, and if that's the case, if we had an even amount of observations, okay, so even number of observations, we could still apply this n plus 1 over 2, but in the case of n equaling 10, we have a le uh, 10 plus 1 all over 2, so 11 over 2, which is 5 and a half. Well, clearly you can't have a half of an observation. You either have it or you don't. And so because of that, we actually take the average of, in this case, the fifth and sixth observation. Okay. So in that case, when, when we have just 10 observations, it's actually the average of these two. So to show you that's the case, I'm going to change this to, I'm going to change it to a 3. And so we see now that the median is going to be the average between 2 and 3, or halfway in between 2 and 3. Okay. Um, I know that I've been changing values, which then affects this picture, but um, hopefully that, that's okay to, to talk about the median and the mean separately like that. Okay, so, you know, it's kind of interesting to see that the, the mean is really susceptible to changes in the values, whereas the median is always going to be centered no matter what the values are. Um, due to that fact or due to that reason, we have uh, sometimes have to make a choice. If you had a data set that had very extreme values, maybe you had a data set that went from 1 all the way up to, let's say, 300, uh, 200, okay? Well, what's going to happen is the median stays exactly the same. And if you think about it, 200 is like so far out. It's such an extreme value from all of the other ones that maybe it was uh, you know, an observation made an error or something like that. So the median won't change, but look at the mean. It's now greatly increased. That, that value of 200 that's way over here has dragged the mean towards it to balance out. If you have a really heavy object really far away, you would have to position this fulcrum much closer to it. So because of that, we would say that the median is, is resistant to uh, extreme values, whereas the mean is highly susceptible to change. Okay, so um, throughout the, our analysis of data sets, um, I'll try to point that out uh, and say you know, when it might be more appropriate to talk about the median versus the mean.